Hey guys, Tyler Mahoney here with Truman Lake Fishing Intel. I'm here at Angersport Marine down between Clinton and Warsaw, Missouri. Got my good buddy David McCormick of the Fish 30 YouTube channel with me today. And he's going to walk us through this Phoenix boat today. This is a 2021, a lot of cool features. So if you are in the market, when you are in the market for a new boat, this is going to be really helpful to help you kind of understand what you're going to get with this new Phoenix 2021. So with that said, David, Fish 30 YouTube channel expert has had 25 boats in his life getting ready to pick up his second Phoenix. Right. What do you like about the Phoenix? Well, the ride. There's absolutely no comparison. Mm -hmm. Phoenix has the ride that everybody's searching for. Big water, or even when it's glassy, these boats ride smooth and they're extremely fast. So, speed mm -hmm. and ride. Yep. And have a big enough live well to be able to put some real donkeys in yeah it. get get those limits in there that you're always <laughs> pulling out on tournament day i love my phoenix i'm not gonna lie yeah well hey let's let's just dive right in and show you guys the boat yeah the trick stuff it's okay. uh, it uh, you know it, it it can be added to any phoenix boat as an aftermarket item but when you get it uh from the factory it's all welded there are no clamps for anything to loosen up or change like maybe happens on another brand um, it's not a big deal. You just never have to tighten this one up. It's it's got real welds, so love them. Got to have a trick step. You got a massive deck here, large enough for your all the three different brands of trolling motors to fit inside here easily and allow your foot to be able to get to all the pedals. And you've got your uh, trim up and down up here, and you've got your navigational lights, your, your standard things like that. And of course, whatever locate, locator or multiple locators that you choose to put on it. Now we go to the deck layout here. Got even these, these slam latches that are very popular. They just shut when you slam it. <laughs> Can't beat it. That's a day, that's the popular day box there. Really popular. Can even uh, be another cooler. If it's summertime and you need a, another area to carry ice to cool the fish live wells down, this is a spot where you can carry uh, more ice. You've got another cooler underneath my feet here, but this gives you two, or you could use that for a day storage. It does have a nice drain in it so that, uh, you know, you could use it as a cooler. But honestly, most guys use it as a bait storage. So on the right side here, we have more storage for tackle, um, lures, clear boxes, that kind of stuff. Here on the left is all your rod storage. Big rod box. This is the box that gets all the guys excited. Even got your slam latch. Large cooler. Even more storage. I I use this exclusively for my dip dyes and things that you know, if they spilled, there would be a problem. And wait to see where they put the net. It isn't blowing out from there. Now we're going to go to absolutely one of my favorite boxes. Some of the other manufacturers make their lids open this way, and I can tell you from my experience at about 70 miles an hour, anything in there is coming out. This one, they've made it so that it opens up like this, so if I'm moving down the lake and I want to answer my phone or something, nothing's blowing out because the wind's coming from this side. So as you can tell, I'm not the biggest guy in the world, so it is, it is important that I be able to make some adjustments to the steering wheel. So if you were a bigger guy than me and you needed to move the steering wheel up, you could. Or if you're small like me, put it down. 
Got all your gauges here. Everything you need to control the boat, from live wells to night lights to bilge pumps, it's all right here. This is a neat little feature. Most guys don't know what this is. This is for you to tie a little rope to. We, got, we noticed that a lot of guys take a rope to the steering wheel when they want to tie up. And we know that that's really not good to do. Um, so we've got a little tie right here, spring loaded. Get your rope around that, solid. Doesn't pull on the steering column. Got your normal mercury shifter and hot foot. So here is, uh, here's your uh, hydraulic trim. This is your, your, this has a TNH Atlas plate on it. Um, this left will adjust the, the Atlas plate up and down. This right hand one is your trim. And then you also have trim here. So you have trim in two places. So if you're driving two handed, you don't have to take your hand off the steering wheel to get to the trim. The trim's right here. Or if I need to lift the engine as I'm driving, or lower it for stability, I can do it from the steering wheel while I still have two hands on the steering wheel. Now that's kind of the importance of the hot foot. Of course, in, in the back here we have your co-angler storage. Giant box for your co-angler. Got the matching box on this side. I use this for life jackets and that kind of stuff. But here's where the real business starts. Because we're all out here to do one thing, and that's put the five biggest fish in the live well we can. 22 gallons a side, 44 gallons total. So if you fish at Sam Rayburn or Toledo Bend, and you need a place to put your 30 or 40 pound stringer, those live wells can handle it. Promise. All right, so here we are in the business end. Two store, I, I store my tools and spare ropes, like my tow rope. And these, you got ample for the, for the four batteries. You could even run five in this. But what I like the most is where the spare prop. We all have a spare propeller in these deals and uh, Phoenix has it right here. I don't have to remove anything to get the prop out because if I'm getting the prop out I'm already a little bent to begin with. <laughs> and also I forgot to tell you 50 gallons. This boat holds 50 gallons of fuel. If that won't get you to where you need to go and back you probably shouldn't go. Battery. That's where you charge everything. Okay. This my new boat will have a four bank charger that charges all four of my batteries just by plugging into the 110 outlet. This is where both your live wells discharge and your if you had water in the boat this is where the billage would kick it out. Okay. Out of the 25 new boats that I've owned in my life only one hasn't been a Mercury. The last 10 boats have all had the 250 model. This is the brand new, normally aspirated V8, four stroke. You, know, you don't put oil in, in this one. You change the oil every 100 hours. Gets better fuel economy than the two stroke. And there's a lot of guys, including myself, who think they're faster than the two stroke. Safety feature here, guys. Uh, one thing I truly love about the Phoenix, if I fell out of the boat and the water was cold, I could easily get myself back up into the boat. That's, that's an important feature when the water's cold. Hey, one of the things I was thinking about as we were walking through this boat is to talk to you about warranties. I mean, warranties are important on the boat and trailer. Phoenix has a five-year warranty on their trailer. There are other manufacturers in the industry that only offer one year on their trailer and I know that's just not enough warranty. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the Phoenix 2021 walkthrough down here at Anglers Port Marine. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. We're very fortunate to have the expert Thank from you. Fish 30 YouTube channel, David McCormick, not only as part of Truman Lake Fishing Intel, but here today to help us walk through and explain everything that he loves about the Phoenix boat. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to uh, start uh, filling out the paperwork <laughs> so wait till you see it yeah it's 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 a really cool boat if you guys do have any questions 
give Anglersport Marine a call, submit them to Truman Lake Fishing Intel, and we'll do our best to help you out. But these guys, these experts here at Anglersport Marine, they're going to be able to help you out the best. So be sure to look them up uh, here right by Warsaw, Missouri off 7 Highway. Thanks a bunch for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.